What is going on, y'all? Five Sports Talk back at it with another video talking, of course, some Bears. So if you're a Bears fan, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel and turn on my post notifications because I do post a lot of Bears content on the channel. You don't want to miss out. Trust me, you really, really don't. Okay, and follow me, guys, on my social media. What are you doing? Do, do it already. Come on now. Uh, but with that being said, as you see behind me, we've got a whiteboard because this will be a whiteboard video in which I will be Breaking down the Chicago Bears' official 53-man roster. I'll be doing a projection, folks. We got the draft out of the way, free agency out of the way. And now we kind of can see, okay, who's really going to make the roster come the regular season, whenever that is. So with that being said, let's not wait any longer. Let's get right in. So how this is going to work is very simple and straightforward. I've listed out all of the positions here on offense and defense. And I'll just basically be listing out all the guys underneath the position and these are guys that are obviously in competition for the roster spot or are just flat out locks okay so that's how it is pretty simple to you know follow through so you guys are not gonna have any issues with that one last thing i do want to say is i will be turning my back to you guys to write down the names during this and so i ask you to please be kind because quarantine has not been kind to my hair and so just pointed that out but again let's get on with it let's start with quarterback here we obviously know there's really only two guys here at the quarterback position now um could the bears keep a third quarterback in tyler bray sure but for right now i'm only going to put these two because they're stone cold locks and that is of course Mitchell trubisky and nick Foles. and don't look at the fact that i put mitch first and uh, nick Foles second we don't know who's going to start that will be decided in training camp all we know is they're both locks to make the roster we know that, okay? So, again, let's just move on. Those are the two quarterbacks we have. Let's move on to running back. We've got our starting running back, David Montgomery. We've got our space back, Tariq Cohen. Okay? Then we've got Ryan Nall. But I'm going to throw a little bit of a wrinkle here and include a guy off the uh, undrafted free agency board, Artavius Pierce from Oregon State, who I believe has a potential to unseat and beat Ryan Null for the third running back spot. Again, we did not draft the running back. We did not sign a running back for agency. So, again, we're, we're kind of, you know, a little light, if you will, at running back. But I do believe Artavius Pierce has more than enough talent uh, to beat out Ryan Null. Um, he's, he's quick, fast, got good burst, agility, and he's the type of back that Matt Nagy likes. So I do believe he's got a great chance to... Uh, make the roster so i'm just going to keep him in here and then at the end we're going to do the cuts okay so we'll list out all the guys and then we'll do cuts at the end for the final 53. let's move on to wide receiver and boy do we have a lot okay so pay attention alan robinson obviously our stud duh anthony miller then we've got him we've got ted ginn jr we recently signed him in free agency we've got our draft pick darnell moody then we've got Riley Ridley. So if I could spell Ridley. We've got Juwan Wims. We've got uh, Trevor Davis. We also signed. And and a guy that you guys maybe did not know that it qualifies as a receiver. He's listed as a receiver, even though he doesn't really play it. Which is, and I don't even have room for him anymore. But I'll kind of put him, you know, kind of over here. Cordero Patterson, okay? So CPAT. He's the guy that is technically listed as a receiver. Again, he's going to play the return role for us, but and, and I believe he's going to make the roster for sure, okay? But uh, again, I'm just going to put it with the receivers, okay? Uh, let's move on to tight end. That pretty much covers all the receivers, I'm pretty sure. Yes. Let's move on to tight end here. And we've got, obviously, our two locks and Jimmy Graham and Cole Komet. Obviously, everyone makes jokes that the Bears have 10 tight ends. Look, folks, so what? We're not going to have all of them make the team, right? I mean, let's just get on with it. Okay, whatever. Uh, we've got Jimmy Graham, Cole Komet, who are the absolute Stone Cold Locks. Then after that, um, our free agent signing, Demetrius Harris, I do believe he will make the roster. Um, he's got a very good shot, I believe. And then we've got the uh, Ben Bronackers of the world. Um, you know, we've got the uh, J.P. Holtz. Uh, Jesper Horstead, the good practice squad guys. So I'm just going to put that here. JP Holtz, if I could write. 
So there you have it with the tight ends, okay? Uh, and then offensive line, let's do the offensive line. We've got Charles Leno, Bobby Massey. Again, these are pretty much locks. Cody Whitehair. Uh, then we've got James Daniels, Jermaine Afidi, the uh, free agent signing from the Seahawks, Jason Spriggs, Rashad Coward. Um, Alex Bars, and then our two draft picks, Lacavia Simmons and Arlington Hambright. Okay, so I'm just gonna list all of them, and there's a potential the Bears carry a lot of offensive linemen because it's our one area or an area of weakness in general, and potentially for chance for injury, you always want to keep those guys there. So. Uh, these are all the guys for the offensive line. Let's go to the defensive line, and we've got, of course, our stud defensive lineman, Akeem Hicks. Then we've got Eddie Goldman. Obviously, these guys are locked. If you are wondering, Bilal Nichols and Roy Robertson Harris. Pretty much all locks. Let's move on to offense, uh, outside linebacker. We've got, of course, our stud Khalil Mack. Free agent signing, big one from these Cowboys, Robert Quinn. Uh, then we've got Travis Gibson, our draft pick. And Bartavius Mingo, free agent signee. Inside linebacker, Roquan. Duh, he's locked. Danny Trevathan, coming back from injury. And then I'm going to kind of put the dots here because after this, it's kind of a little squirrely here. Um, you've got, you know, guys like Josh Woods, uh, Joel Iggy. But again, you could possibly have a guy off the you know undrafted free agency um, pool come in here. But really, it's two locks, and these guys are pretty much, um, you know, I would say have a good shot to make it, but potentially on the bubble. Uh, quarterback, we are actually stacked at quarterback. It's funny you guys will see here. Obviously, you've got Kyle Fuller, then you've got Jalen Johnson, you've got Buster Screen, okay. Um, then you've got Trey Roberts, and people forgot about him, the CFL cornerback that we paid a decent amount of money for. Kevin Tolliver. Uh, then we've got Artie Burns and Kilder Kindle Fildor. So cornerback just all of a sudden went from a position of weakness to now we are loaded. I mean, I shouldn't say loaded, like all these guys are amazing, but we have so much depth now at quarterback. It's crazy. So just wanted to obviously show you guys that. Let's move on to safety, and of course, we've got our stud, Eddie Jackson. We've got, obviously, the safety we just got from the Houston uh, Texans, Deshaun uh, Gibson. Uh, then we've got uh, Deion Bush. Then we've got DeAndre Houston Carson and Jordan Lucas. And then finally, special teams, you've got Eddie Pinero, the kicker. Pat O'Donnell, the punter, lawn snapper, Patrick Scales. Okay, there you have it. So, here are all the guys in competition for the 53. And now it is time. Let me grab my other marker here. It's time to make cuts. Okay, it's time to make cuts. But first, we're going to round this up and just count and see how many we've got. So, we'll start over here. Two, four, five. One of these, I believe, will make it. I think we'll carry three, not four running backs. So, five. Uh, 7, 9, 11, 12, 13, uh, 15, 17, 19, 21, 23, 25, 27, 29, 31, 33, 35, 37, 39, 41, 43, 45, 47, 48, 40, uh, 50, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. So we've got right now 56 players. And we're going to get to, obviously, if you guys can see, 53. Okay? So that means we got to cut three guys. Okay? I can already tell you right now we have too many receivers. There's no way we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight receivers. Um, so let's just talk about the guys that are locked here. Al Robinson is a lock. Anthony Miller is a lock. Ted Ginn. Yeah, I think he's a lock. Darnell Mooney's a lock. Uh, Riley Ridley, I, I, I do think he's a lock. Cordell Patterson's a lock. So that leaves you, Jawan Wims and Trevor Davis. I'm definitely going to take out Trevor Davis. 
hasn't really done much in the NFL, and he could play more special teams than anything. Jawan Wims, um, he got more playing time last year, but really didn't do much with it. So you could possibly cut him as well. But let's get back to here. So we're down to 55 now. Let's go to tight ends. I don't believe the Bears are carrying six tight ends for sure. So I'm definitely going to take out uh, Jesper Horstead and J.B. Holtz. So that automatically takes us to 53. So to me, I think that's fine then. So again, Jimmy Graham, Cole Komet, uh, Demetrius Harris, and Ben Bronacker. And then keep Jawan Wims here. That brings you to 53, hopefully. Let's do a recount just to be safe. So two, four, five. And again, I believe Pierce beats out Null for the third running back spot. That is my prediction. So two, four, five, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, uh, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-four, thirty-six, thirty-eight, forty, forty-two, forty-four, forty-five. 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 53. There you have it. 53 man roster is set for the Bears. Now, again, uh, there's a potential here. You could take out one or two, whatever you want to do. But for the most part, I'm pretty happy. Pretty happy. There's a lot of offensive linemen, but I do believe we need to carry that many because it's a weak position. But I got to tell you, I'm pretty happy with this group for right now. Let me know what you guys think. Again, there's a potential to take out a tight end, add a quarterback, etc., etc. But for the most part, this is what I see as the 53-man roster. So any disagreements, agreements, leave it in the comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. Again, I'll clear it myself out so you guys can see the board here for the Bears 53-man roster. So there you have it, folks. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Please make sure to subscribe as always. Thanks for watching.